is going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? So I'm here today with a quiz I am super excited to do because you guys know I love the draft I love talking about the draft lottery and stuff like that. So today's quiz is one that's pretty small on Sporkle. It's 207 plays. It's can you name the NBA top five draft picks since 2000? So I literally just searched, um, I searched like NBA draft top five or something like that or nba top five basically i think i did nba draft or nba top five draft and i went through this was on like the third page and i found out like yeah this one would be really fun to do because it only goes to 2018 so obviously 2019 like it would go obviously zion ja rj deandre hunter Darius garland so there we go we could just say it right there but Hey, it's at least got, what, 19 different drafts from 2000 to 2018. Like always, I will leave a link to this Oracle quiz in the description below if you want to take the quiz. Pause the video right now, take it, come back, and then compare how you did versus I did. So there's 95 different names, obviously no duplicates. We have 15 minutes to do this, and I don't know, I'm going to strive, I don't know, like, I think I'm definitely going to get from 2018 to 2007. Or maybe 2006, I might get all of them. But then, like, 2000, like, the early 2000s are going to be kind of tough. But, hey, we can just hop right into this. So, we got 15 minutes to do so, which actually is a decent amount of time. So, uh, we'll start off with 2018. We got DeAndre Aiden. We can actually just scroll this down here. Um, we got Marvin Bagley. We got Luka Doncic. Uh, so, it, it's nice that it has the team as well as the pick. Um, obviously, we would know the pick, but the team is very helpful. Uh, we have Jaron Jackson, and we'll also get Josh Jackson as well in 2017. And then we have Trey Young. So just like that, got 2018 done. Uh, so we got Fultz for 2017. We got Lonzo Ball. We got Jason Tatum. Um, and then we got De'Aaron Fox. 2016, we will have uh, Ben Simmons, Brendan Ingram, uh, Jalen Brown, Chris Dunn, or Dragon Bender, and then Chris Dunn. Look at that great draft or that streak from 2016 to 2018 for the Suns. Dragon Bender, the biggest bust out of that top five. Josh Jackson, the biggest bust out of this top five. And then DeAndre Aiden, good player. Yeah, but Luka and Trey going after, you could have taken that. You could have taken them. And obviously, anybody would probably rather have, honestly, maybe Luka, Jared Jackson, and Trey Young over Aiden. But either way, it wasn't the worst out of, like, these three. It was definitely 2016 and 17 that were bad. Okay, let's bring out 2015. So we'll have Towns. We'll have Diego Russell, we'll have Jaleel Okafor, uh, and we also get a Mecca Okafor from 2004. I think I would've got that because, you know, I'm just gonna take Dwight Howard because that was the Dwight Howard draft. The center, uh, the B, uh, between Howard and Okafor. Next at four, that would be Tingus Pingus, uh, for Zingus, there we go. And then, I don't know why I said Tingus Pingus, what is that, Rappaport's thing? <laughs> 2014, uh, we'll have, uh, wow, the Cavs just have so many number one picks. Wiggins, they'll have three on this list. Actually, four. Wiggins, Jabari Parker uh, to the Bucks, Joel Embiid to the 76ers, Aaron Gordon to the Magic, and then we also get Ben Gordon in 2004. Don't know if I would have got Ben Gordon. I don't think I would have. Uh, and then we'll have Dante Axum to the Jazz at five. 2013, we'll have Anthony Bennett. We will have Victor Olwood Depot, uh, Otto Porter. Still has the Bobcats for number four. Interesting, when he has the Hornets here. Well, I guess that's going to be... Um, maybe he had the instead of the Hornets like to confuse people. Okay, I respect that. Cody Zeller, and then the Suns took Alex Lund. Wow, the Suns were great at drafting um, post-2013. Tell you that. So, uh, 2012, we will have Anthony Davis. We will have Michael Kidd Gilchrist. We will have Bradley Beal. Deion Waiters. And then another great drafting team this decade in Thomas Robinson. Uh, we're going to the Sacramento Kings at five. So uh, 2011, this would be Kyrie Irving. Derek Williams, the Arizona GOAT. And we get four different Williams. We get Darren Williams, I would have gotten. Jay Williams, I think I would have gotten. Sheldon Williams, I don't think I was going to get. So we get lucky with the duplicates there on the Williams. So there is some duplicates, I guess, at least with um, Gordon, Okafor, and Williams. Jazz at three, that would be Ennis Kanner. Uh, Cavs at four, that would be Tristan Thompson. A lot of bigs here at three, four, five, and you can say Derek Williams was a four. And then we'll have Dallas Junis to the Raptors at uh, pick five. 2010, we'll have John Wall. We'll have Evan Turner. We'll have Derek Favors. Wesley Johnson, are we going to get another Johnson? Nope, only one on the list. And then Kings at five will be DeMarcus Cousins. And wow, the Kings pick fifth. 
three different times this decade. They ended up with actually they did well at number five. They ended up with Cousins Fox, but then they kind of messed up with Thomas Robinson. Could have taken, I guess, Harrison Barnes there. Drummond maybe was going to be a better big, but I guess Drummond and Cousins really wouldn't have worked out at all. Because I guess they viewed Robinson as a power forward. 2009 Clippers, Blake Griffin. Hashim the Beat. Oh my god, like look how good this top five was, and they took Hashim the Beat. Uh, well, well, three will be Harden, four will be Tyreek Evans, and the five will be Rubio. I mean, yeah, all four of the four of those one one rookie of the year and Tyreek Evans. Rubio's had a long career. Griffin, multiple time All Star. Harden, one of the best players in the NBA, and then Hashim the Beat at number two. Yeah, the <laughs> Grizzlies. It sucks. It sucks. Um, 2008, we have the Bulls taking Derrick Rose. Michael Beasley going number two. Um, imagine they took Kevin Love, so I guess I think, was Love three? No, OJ Mayo was three, and then Westbrook went four. Imagine they took Westbrook, and then they ended up with Westbrook and Wade. That would have been nice, but who knows if LeBron would have ever went there. Uh, Westbrook, and then Grizzlies at five would be Kevin Love. Uh, obviously, they traded Love for Mayo, and then, yeah, they ended up with Mayo and the beat. I mean, Mayo wasn't bad to start his career, but not a good, not a good two picks. Uh, but they ended up with... Landing Marcus Saul to trade. They got Mike Conley uh, in 2007. We'll get to him in a second. They traded for Zach Randolph. And then Grid and Grind began. Uh, 2007, Blazers. Uh, Greg Oden. Kevin Durant at number two. Hawks at three. That'll be Al Horford, I believe. Horford. Uh, Conley at four. And then number five, Celtics. This I'm guessing... Okay, so this was technically to the Supersonics as well because they traded Ray Allen for this pick. And they took Jeff Green. 2006 Raptors. This is Bornani Andrea. Uh, say if you want to, if you want to say he's a bust. I mean, he had definitely not as big as of a bust as some other players on this list. At number one, uh, it's some solid years in Toronto. I'm pretty sure he's made an All Star game. Uh, Bulls at two in 2006. That would be one Marcus Aldridge, and they obviously traded that to uh, Portland. Third to the Bobcats, the Gonzaga Goat, Adam Morrison, and then Blazers at four. This would be Harris Thomas. Yes, sir. All right, so 2005, we'll have the Bucks at number one. <laughs> Andrew Bogut, I had to think about that one for a second. Hornets at four in 2005. Um, I know five is Raymond Felton. Who is number four to the Hornets or the Bobcats at the time? I feel like I don't. Uh, I feel like I should get this, though. So, oh, no, no, this is like, oh, no, no, this is Chris Paul. Okay, duh. I, I get messed up with the Hornets and the Bobcats here. I guess that's why I put that. So, you wouldn't get confused, so thank you for that. Because uh, I was like thinking, who did the Hornets take? But obviously, it was the Pelicans now. Hornets back then. All right, 2004, Clippers at four. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Devin Harris went five to the Wizards, yes. Uh, I don't know who went to the Clippers at four. We'll move on. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that one. 2003, we should get all of this. Uh, LeBron, Milicic, uh, Carmelo Anthony. Uh, Raptors at four would be Chris Bosh. And then doing Wade at five. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're killing this quiz right now. We're, we got 81 out of 95. We're doing pretty well. I would say we've only... The only one we haven't gotten yet is 2004, number four to the Clippers. Okay, Rockets, 2002. Yao Ming. Warriors. Is this... Uh, God, 2002. Um... Wait, is this, um, is this the Mike Dunleavy draft, or am I tripping? Yes, it is the Mike Dunleavy draft here in 2003, okay. Uh, Grizzlies at four, this would be Paugus, no, Paugus was 2001, so I'm not supposed to type him down. Yeah, he went through to the Hawks, obviously traded to the Laker, no, traded to the Grizzlies. Um, so, who went four and five to the Grizzlies and the Nuggets in 2002? Um, I don't know this. I really don't know this. I don't think I'm going to get these two. Unless, no. Yeah, I don't think I know these. Because Zach Randolph wasn't drafted by the Grizzlies. Wasn't he drafted by the Trailblazers or the Knicks? I don't know. He wasn't drafted by the Knicks. He might have been drafted by Portland because I know the Knicks traded Channing Fry, I think, for Zach Randolph. Or Chan no, they traded Zach Randolph for Channing Fry. I forgot. Either way, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's Zach Randolph. Uh, the Nuggets at five, I guess it wasn't that good of a player because they would have. we would have known because it would have been a nice duo with Carmelo Anthony. Um, so we're going to go back to those two. Pretty sure the Clippers in 2000... Or one of these in 2001 is Eddie Curry. Yep. Uh, he went to the Bulls at four. And then five is, I believe, Josh Richardson. Oh, and then number two is Tyson Chandler. Back. Okay, so we got 2001 done. I know 2000, in 2000 we got um, Kenny Martin, uh, the GOAT, Strommel Swift, I believe, uh, went number two to the Grizzlies. And then um, 
Um, Mike Miller, I think, one of the top five. And I think that's going to be it. That might be it for the list. I know I know those three guys are one of the top five. Because uh, I know that they help from playing the 2000 franchise as well. Uh, but that might be it. That might be it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Jay Will... Jay Williams, Mike Dunleavy, then who went 4 and 5? Who went to the Clippers in 2003? It wasn't like Elton Brand, right? I'm like, pretty sure he was after, but I might as well type his name. Uh, yeah, that might be it. Okay, 90 out of 95. That's not bad. That is not bad whatsoever. That's what? An 8 out of... That's a... Uh, what is that? That's... I'm going to try to get the percentage, but I'm going to be dumb on video. I'm not going to be able to get it. Uh, that would be... I don't know. That's... 18 divided by 19, uh, it's not going to be um, an exact score, so uh, I don't know what 18 divided by 19 It's something in the 90% percentage, um, percents, but I, I will take that. You know what? Not bad. I I'll take that. I'm going to sit here for five and a half minutes. I could, but I don't think I know the rest. So let's give up and uh, see who we missed. So we missed Drew Gooden, the journeyman, and Nikolaus. I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. Uh, but yeah, we got a 95 Wow, it was 95%? Maybe I should have got that. I'm an idiot. Uh, the average score was 69%, so we kind of uh, knocked that out of the park. Sean Livingston. Forgot he went top five. Darius Miles wasn't remembering him, and the Marcus Fizzer, or Pfizer, Pfizer, I guess, wasn't getting him either. But you know what? I will definitely take a 95%. Kind of killed that. I would say I know a decent amount about the NBA draft, so I expected a high score, I think. Not to sound cocky or anything. I just... Like, kind of knew at least everybody up to 2005, yeah, and then 2004 got a little iffy. 2002 got missed two, got 2001 and three. I mean, three is super easy, but 2001 I got right, which I'm pretty proud with. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed that in the comments below, or let me know what you guys got if you took the quiz as well. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you guys want more sport quiz videos. I still love doing these. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.